So hey, it's uh, Outdoor Skinny. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't know who we are, uh, we're just starting our channel. And um, it's about two bigger guys getting outdoors and uh, you know, instead of sitting on the couch and hopefully some weight loss and getting a little healthier come with that, but <laughs> can't can't guarantee. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna throw us under the bus already. Getting off to a hell of a start, folks. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, my buddy here wants to get into cigar smoking. I've been smoking cigars for a while. I am by no means a cigar aficionado or whatever they're called nowadays, but I do like to smoke a cigar every once in a while. So what I've got here is um, I've got a Nicaraguan barrel aged rum Camacho. So Cam Camacho. that's what I'm going to be token on. And uh, what do you got over there, buddy? Uh, it looks like I got a Legends International by Drew Estate. Uh, the guy inside recommended it, said it was sugar tipped sugar tip because you know you're starting out and you know they don't it's like when you drink craft beer not everybody wants to jump right into a guinness right you know sure. you want to work your way up to those dark beers so that's the cigar they suggested um so, so that's what i'm gonna try that's where he's at and granted i don't smoke and the only reason i'm gonna do the cigar is because you don't inhale the smoke so I don't want to get any smoke in my lungs. I don't smoke cigarettes or anything like that. So this is just a thing that everybody does that- I'm sure some people inhale them, but- Oh my God, you imagine the damage on that thing? You'd be coughing up a lung by the time the day's over. I'm gonna try this one. My buddy's already in the game. He knows what he's doing. I'm a complete newbie. So if I look like an idiot, you obviously know why. So I apologize. So. I'm gonna describe what this tastes like to me as someone who's like a complete amateur. I don't know what this is gonna be like. So, all right. So what does yours taste like now? The rum is very mild, which is understandable. Well, for starters, I didn't cut it. So I looked like an idiot for a second, but it's okay. You just watched me cut mine. I wasn't watching you. I was just watching the camera. So I at least know that part. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's bad. <laughs> All right. We're gonna try this. See how it goes. See how I like it. So, we should get it going. Oh, that right. good. It's not bad. It's not the best cigar I've ever had. Like I said, I'm not a cigar aficionado. I might have accidentally inhaled a little bit. Damn. My bad. You sound like one of them dudes that just took his first hit of pot when he was a kid and he was like, ah. Okay. In the words of a great man, I love it when a flame comes together. <laughs> I'll tell you what though. Let me grab this. Hold on. Oh yeah. Buckle up, Nancy. <laughs> We're gonna stoke and road. So yeah, I'm not getting a very even burn on mine. I'm not either. Look at hopefully that. it straightens out. Yeah, you might want to try relighting the end of yours. Yeah. So and you don't have to cut like so much off. See how I just kind of got the tip of it. Yeah. Just the tip. Just the tip. Okay. So I see why it's called sugar tip. <coughs> Let me grab this camera. So I'm tasting it and it tastes pretty good actually. It's like candy almost, but I need to figure out how to do it without it getting in my nostrils and going in my, into my lungs. Cause it burns. Well, you could probably roll your window down a little more. But I will say that I do like it. So that's a plus. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, I don't want to say it's like drinking wine. Obviously smoking's not good for you and we're not telling you to go out and smoke and buy cigars. It's just something that I've done and I enjoy it. Mostly what I'm drinking, but I'm driving right now. So obviously I'm not drinking. Yeah, that might not be obvious to some people, but <laughs> I don't drink and drive, so. Well, we smoke and drive apparently, so. 
Yeah, well, it's legal, so. I will say, once I get better at not getting into my nostrils and in my lungs, I feel like I'll like it. I feel like this would be really good in the garage, drinking a beer. Oh yeah. Sitting there, just watching the rain. And yeah, so right now, tell them where we're at, buddy. Um, well, we just left Cabello's. Hamburg, Pennsylvania. We're in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. We just went to Cabello's. Uh, Check it out. Set out to go fishing today. We got our licenses and loaded everything up and it's been raining and I know that's no excuse. I mean, that's usually when the fish are biting <laughs> and I get all that, but I don't know. I guess I'm being kind of a pansy today, so I was like, well, hell, let's go look at some guns. I mean, if we can't fish, or we don't want to fish, I can't say we can. Let's go look at some guns and get us a cigar and still do something that we enjoy doing. And yeah, so. It's all about being outdoors and not being on the couch. Yeah, I mean like, I'm 31, you know, and now all of a sudden I really don't want to be inside. I want to be out. Tell them, tell them what you weigh, Rebus. Let's just, Let's just get it out there. So let's get this out of the way. So obviously the, the, the channel's called Outdoor Skinny. We're obviously not skinny, as you can tell. We're just two chubby dudes. I'm obviously the bigger guy. Uh, but I weigh, last time I weighed myself was like two months ago and I weighed about 380. Now granted, I- 380 at 31 years old, folks. Now, wait, okay, wait. Now I wear my weight very well, okay. I played football. Oh, Jesus. I played football for like four years. I got a lot of muscle on me. If you see my legs, you'd be wondering how the heck I got legs like that. But, but I tell you where all my muscles at. But we're trying to keep this channel clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, Dumbo, put that thing away. Put it away, boys. Put it away. Earlier, when we were at the diner, we had this wonderful, wonderful waitress, and man, she was she was sharp, snazzy. Well, she, was a, she was an eight on the look scale. And I'd With a mask on. About 150 on the personality scale. So we tipped her good. We, we gave her a decent tip for just serving us breakfast. And I asked her if she had any kids. Today's Mother's Day 2021. Yep. Happy Mother's She's, Day to all the mothers. Yeah, there you go. And she said uh, she had four kids. So I said, Happy Mother's Day to you. So. Yeah, and it was funny because she came back. And she was, he was like scoping her out when she came back and she was like, you looking for a wedding ring? And we were just talking about her and she was married and she just caught on to him right away. And obviously I'm married. He's married, but I'm not. I have a very flirtatious attitude, but I love my wife, but I love interacting with people and I don't mind, you know, being flirtatious as long as that's as far as it goes. And you know, if it gets me good service and puts a smile on a, person's face and I don't really see anything wrong with it as long as I'm not being a male pig. Yes. There's a difference between being flirty and being creepy. Yeah, you know, keep, uh, it, keep it clean, keep it, you know, respectful and Yep. So, she caught on to my buddy quick. Uh, <laughs> but since I said something about my weight, I think it's about time you revealed the big secret too, big guy. How much do you weigh? I, I'm 234, and I do not wear my weight well. As you can see. <laughs> I have, it's so funny, I have this thing, my, uh, one side of my family is called the Flurries, and, which is funny because of the Mick Flurry. So my dad's like, yeah, you got the Flurry gut, you know? And it's true, like I've got a gut on me, and, and uh, I have been able to lose weight. Uh, I was in the military and uh, I was running 5Ks three years ago and I was down to 170 pounds and I was probably in the best shape I've ever been in my life. Both of even, our lives. <laughs> even, better, even better than when I was in the army, I was in better shape. Um, and you know, life happens. I had a leg injury and I never got back to running, and I enjoy running. I'm not good at it, but I enjoy it. And I don't listen to music when I run. I like listening to the birds.
birds and everything, and I don't much like running on a treadmill. I love running outdoors, trail running, and so it's. I guess it's just kind of hit us. Um, and so I invested in this van. It's a 2000 E250, and I'm slowly converting it to a camper van. We already did a trip last weekend. I haven't done. I'm gathering materials. I've got all the wood to do the floor, and everybody knows how expensive lumber is right now. Um, and you know, I'm buying stuff for it slowly, and you know, we'll get there, folks. Just uh, bear with us, and you know, we're filming everything from cell phones because we don't have any GoPros yet or any good cameras. And Not yet. We'll get there. Hopefully, we're going to get there. And if you enjoy our content go ahead and subscribe drop a like comment yeah comment we'll try to get back to you we're small right now so we should be able to do that no problem you know we don't have a million subscribers not yet um, <laughs> not know, yet and our goal isn't to get rich we're just we're what we're really hoping for at least i am i can't really speak for you is that i'm hoping people subscribe because the one thing i've noticed when i lost all that weight before i had a friend of mine and she's the one that got me into running and she kept me motivated and then you know i got hurt and then she went her way you know we because we worked together and then she left and i got a different job and you know so i haven't really found anybody to keep me motivated and i have a hard time motivating myself so Same. i'm kind of hoping that people that subscribe will motivate us to to stay outdoors and to keep fishing and hiking and hunting and you know Rebus over here you know he's he's had a little rougher start than I am I mean I've been up and down the mountains of Afghanistan I know what pain is and stuff and when you're when you're a bigger guy it's tough you know starting out you can't hike 20 miles you know yeah. probably not even five miles without I will, having feet issues and, yep. I will tell you though that is the goal the goal for me is to complete a hike you know, I'll start small, one mile, two miles. And know. I'm gonna try and keep him motivated and I hope he keeps me motivated, but we're not gonna we're not gonna quit doing what we do. Like I'm not gonna stop smoking a cigar every once every three or four months. I'm not gonna stop, you know, eating the occasional chocolate candy bar. I don't wanna not live. I don't wanna be a slave to a diet. I just wanna be more active. Yeah. And I noticed when I was more active before, then I started making bigger changes. I ate differently and, and I did more chores around the house. And, you know, I want to get back there, you know. I want to be here for my wife. I mean, I want to be here for my parents. I want to be here for my wife's kids, or my, my wife's kids, my sister's kids. Yep. You know, that's, and, yep. That's, okay. kind, of, that's okay. kind of the thing for me too, like I'm, I'm, like I said, 380, 385-ish. Not for not, long, buddy. Not for long, not for no. Long. But I want to be around for if I ever have a family. You know, I want to be active. I want whoever my partner is going to be to be active. You know, and maybe they want to do something crazy like hike the Appalachian Trail. Am, am, am I ready to do that now? Absolutely not. I need not. to be around because, for his kids because I'm going to have to pay child support on them. <laughs> That's my sugar daddy right there. Woo! No, but all jokes aside, it's about getting out there, enjoying the world, and not coming back from work. Spending, Hello, world! <laughs> and not sitting on your couch watching TV, or sitting on your computer, or staring at your phone all day long. Hell, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, not only will we get the support we need from you, Maybe somebody watching this channel will be motivated by us and get off the couch. Exactly, and that's, for me, that's my motivation. And I'm not gonna go into the whole COVID thing. Yep. You can still wear a mask if you want, if that's what you choose to do, and get out there and still enjoy life. You know what I mean? So if you're one of those people who wholeheartedly believes in the COVID-19 vaccination and wholeheartedly believes in wearing a mask, do that. Absolutely. By all means, do that. Be you and do you and just 
But live your life. Live your life, man. This is the only one you got. Yeah. Live it. By all means, live it. Absolutely. Enjoy so, it. And enjoy yeah. it. Enjoy it. Whatever you like to do. You like to sip a glass of wine? Hey, do it outside while you're camping. You got a beautiful view with family, friends, whatever. Enjoy life. This is the only one you got. You know, so with that, we're going to finish our cigars, go fishing, and Whoa. we'll show you a little bit of our fishing perhaps yeah. in the next video or this video at the end of it. We're going to go fishing here for a little bit. Like, yep. We're going to find a spot. We're going to get a little bit of fishing in. I didn't bring any rain gear. He didn't bring any rain gear. So what? I didn't think there was any rain forecasted for today. You know what? I'm Apparently sweet. Apparently, we're the two worst weathermen there are because it's pouring like You know what, though? We're sweet, but we don't melt. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to turn it over to him. I got to get off here because I'm getting ready to get on the highway and I want to focus on driving in these conditions. And yep. We don't want our lives ending before this channel gets started. <laughs> exactly. All right. Take care, folks. You All heard right, it here. Outdoor skinny. All right. Woo! We'll see you all around and hope in the comments, you know, drop us some comments about what you do to keep yourself motivated outside, where you like to go, where you, what you like to see, places you like to visit. Maybe you're in PA and there's some places you know about that maybe we could drive to. And if, enjoy. You're, ever, if you're ever in York, Pennsylvania, give us a shout, man. We'll yeah. look up, we'll meet. You know, we know some places around here. You want to go for a hike or do a little fishing? Get a hold of us. Oh yeah. I don't care where you're from. I don't give a shit if you're fucking purple. I don't care. Purple, pink, blue, whatever. Whatever. I don't give a fuck what you're, sorry for the F word. I don't care what your sexual orientation is. I do not care. Yep. If you're, if you just are a good human being, get a hold of us. Hit us up. Hit us up in the comments and we'll be there. We'll talk to you all later. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day and remember. Enjoy life because it's the only one you got. Woo! See y'all on the flip side.